Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we're gonna solve the problem number of Iceland. So let's get started. So the problem is that they give you a two-dimensional array of characters, or let's say two-dimensional binary grid, where the character one represent length and zero represent water. And also they give us one of the most important information is that the, all the Iceland is surrounded by water and is formed by connecting adjacent land horizontally or vertically. Means if all the land and the grid is connected to each other as you can see here in this input we have only one island but in the second example here we have three island in simple terms there are water that separates the island so to solve this problem we're going to use the deep first search algorithm and we're going to traverse and explore as far as possible before backtracking so we're going to start at the top left corner of the grid and as we know the character one represents land so every time the current position is one means land we mark it as visited with the v character so the deep first search recursively call itself for the position up down left and right until we traverse all the grid so here the left top corner character is one means we found the first land then we continue traversing the cells in simple terms the deep first search gonna be activated only if the current position is equal to the character one so here the deep first search gonna find another land at rows three at the columns three so we mark it as visited and we continue traversing the cells so here we have another land Land. After that, the loop stop the iteration and we return the number of Iceland founded inside the two dimensional array. The solution is similar to the solution of the problem word search. That's it, guys. So let's jump at coding the solution. First, we calculate the number of rows and columns. Then, we initialize a variable count to keep track of number of Iceland founded. Then, we initialize a deep's first search function that takes two arguments rows and columns. First, we check if we are out of the grid or we at the end, we stop and we return. And also if the current position it's not one or it's already visited we stop and we return then if none of the above condition is true we set the current position to be the character v means visited and then function recursively call itself for the position up down to the left and to the right of the current position and that's gonna help us connect all the land visited until we reach the edge of the island after that we set two for loops to iterate throughout each position on the grid we check if the current position is equal to one that's mean we need to call the deep first search function and after the deep first function finish his work we increment the count by one finally we return the count variable So the time complexity for this problem is O of n, or we can say it's, or we can say that it's that is O of r times c, where r is the number of rows and c is the number of columns in the grid. It's because we are iterating throughout all the possible position in the grid, and the space complexity is O of one because the solution doesn't use any extra space inside the memory. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.